Hello, today we will be going through a short tutorial on how to install the Epic mod for Cold Waters. So to begin with, simply go to coldhunter.ru, that is the domain that hosts the mod, and your download button is right here. Should that download not work for whatever reason, you do have a backup link just below it. Go ahead, you can begin the process, download it, and you will get a, depending on which search you use, you will most likely get a virus warning. And it's simply because it is too large for Google to scan. So go ahead and download it. And once you do, it should look something like this here on the right. So it's a relatively simple install. Simply take this cold waters data file and drag and drop it into your cold waters data. This can be found in a few places depending on where you get cold waters from. I have the Steam version, so mine is just under Steam apps like any other Steam game. Once you go ahead and drag and drop that in, you will see you now have under streaming as assets, you have an epic mod folder. This is where all the overrides will be for anything that the Epic Mod adds. So now that you have your Cold Waters data copied over and files replaced, that is actually all that you technically need to do. The game is now perfectly playable with just that simple step. You can see we've got new loading screens, new tooltips, new single missions, Fun facts, campaigns, and new units, including the NATO surface ships, which are mostly playable. Yes, the Epic Mod does add surface ship playability. First thing, or the next thing you can do is mess around with your HUD, which can be seen here on the right. You have your default, column, line, and line 3 plus 1. And they all just rearrange your HUD slightly. So, in order to use one, just open it up and drag your info over. And now, now the game has rearranged our HUD into what it calls a column. Two. More of a block for me, but it's there. Your next option is the line. So open it up. Write data over. Replace the files. Zone our new contact bearing three, four, nine, designated Sierra one. So, as you can see, our HUD is Con now based around zero, three, a column, zero, or sorry, a Sierra, two. horizontal column, Con zone our new a line, if you would. Zero. The final option is the one I prefer, and it is the line three plus one.
Con sonar, new contact bearing. Zero, one, five. Designated Sierra, one. So, line three plus one has your three main things down here, as well as adds your anti-aircraft weaponry over here above the map. Of course, the mod does also add custom models like this uh, Saffron class submarine. The final thing you can look at is here in your options. And change between Imperial and Metric, add solutions, so save, accept, etc. So that is the basis for installing the Epic mod. And hope you enjoy it.